and welcome, welcome back, back to, to the Ghostly, Ghostly Sisters! Sisters. <laughs> Alright, so we're finally going to explain why we stopped YouTube back in 2016. So in 2016, about a couple weeks before Halloween, we were filming a bunch of videos before we moved out of the house that we had lived in. Like we had done uh, the corner game, answer man, the answer man or something like that, and the midnight game. And we actually had played the midnight game, it wasn't the little film we had made, so don't get it mixed up. Anyways, everything was fine until we had actually played the midnight game. While we were playing it, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, all of our phones shut off. So we stopped the game at that moment and we tried to turn on the lights in the house and nothing turned on, like everything shut off completely. So of course we got creeped out. No, that was just you. No, no, seriously, it was, it was creepy. Yeah. Anyway, so we packed up all of our equipment, our tripod, laptop, everything, and we left the house that we were moving out of. And when we got to our new home, we tried to turn on the laptop to transfer all of the videos, but it wasn't turning on. We thought it was dead, so we charged it, we did everything we could, but still, it just did not turn on. So we called an IT technician to see if he can help us, but when he looked at the laptop, he could not help us. Yeah, he told us our laptop was completely fried and it was just damaged. He said he had never seen anything like it and yeah. um, he said he didn't think anybody could help us. And there was no way we could retrieve all of the footage that we had already transferred onto the laptop. All of those videos, oh my goodness, I remember when that happened and it was horrible because all like videos all gone. of the footage and everything we had done was just gone and there was no way we could get it back. And we were just too discouraged to make any more videos after that. And we have no idea what caused the laptop to just break down like that. No idea. Well, I mean... The house that we lived in at the time was like super. Oh haunted. yeah, it was it, it was, was like, crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like from the moment we moved into that house, crazy things were happening. Okay, so when we were packing to move into the house that we used to live in, which was the haunted house, so let's call it the haunted house. Yeah. I was the one in charge of packing all of the books from the shelf into the boxes and then unpacking them into the haunted house. So a couple days after we had moved into the haunted house and everything was situated, um, I noted one day I like noticed that there was this random book on the shelf that I had never seen before. And keep in mind, she knows every single book we own. Mm -hmm. I know every book that we own, every single book, and I had never seen this book before. It was called. Oh wait, where is the book? Whatever. We'll find it later. Anyway, so the book we found was called Psychic Sciences by Walter B. Gibson and it just talks a lot about um, just spiritual stuff pretty much. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember when I found this book, it looked like it had not been touched in years. Like it had yeah. dust on it and then when I opened it, it had like spider webs in it. Like what the heck? And it even it had was a, so weird. Yeah, it even had a dead spider. Oh yeah, it had a little and dead spider in the it. the spider looked old, like it was all yeah. crumpled up. I even asked everyone around the house to see if for some odd reason someone knew where it came from and no one knew anything about it. it. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. So, after that first incident, everything just escalated. Oh my gosh. Yes. And oh my goodness, it was horrible. Ah! And in one of the rooms in the house, there is this horrible rotting smell. It oh like my goodness, it was, it was so, so bad. bad. So bad, like it's, it was really bad. Like there's no words to describe how horrible the smell was. It, it smelled like, like sulfur or like rotting meat. It was yeah. just disgusting. And it was only just in our parents' closet. Yeah, like that, just that one small section of the house, it didn't, like, you couldn't smell it anywhere else but the closet. And we thought it might have been something dead in the attic since the entrance was in the closet. 
Okay, so we decided to get an exterminator to the house to go look, and when he came, the stench went away. But right before he came into the house, it just went away, and it was so like, irritating. While we were waiting for him, we were in the we went to the closet. It smelled horrible. Mm -hmm. But when he came, the smell went away. Yeah, it was like what the heck. So he went up into the attic, and he said there was nothing in there. But. Of course, as soon as he left the house, the smell came back. Yep. We thought something was up, obviously, so we decided to look it up. And after a while, the smell just went away. Yeah, like just randomly, I don't know, just after a it's while like of living bye. in there, it just went away. Yeah. Also, so many, in like, pretty much in all of the videos that we filmed in that house, there were orbs everywhere. Yeah. Like, literally everywhere. And when we filmed a Ouija board video in that house, the ghost meter just went off non-stop. And there's no way we could have faked any of that because we don't have any of the high-tech software or proper editing tools to like fake it. There's no yeah. way we could have done that. And we were young at the time. Yeah, we were, we were noobs. <laughs> Ew. And just throughout our entire experience at the house, Something was always happening. One time, after making a video, I forgot which one, but when I went to sleep, my bed was right next to the door. And I was facing towards the door, and when I opened my eyes, I saw a black figure standing there, and it had oh, black, yeah, I remember long hair. I used to always mention that there was a black figure in that yeah. hallway. There was something weird in that hallway. I know. It was just like staring at me, but it had no face. It was just like a dark shadow. And of course I went under my blankets. Like almost every single night in that house, there was always someone pulling the blankets off of me. And I used to think it was you or Aubrey. Aubrey I'm was too, too scared to go into no, the No, Aubrey darkness. was too little, but I always thought it was you. But every single time, like I would feel the blanket like being pulled off of me because I would like be kind of halfway asleep when I would feel it. I would get up and I would start screaming to like scare you because I thought it would be you but there was no one there and then I went to your room and then you were asleep and then I would get freaked out and run to my room and like close my eyes and be like yeah. And, then, yeah. and we didn't have a cat to pull off the blankets. Sadly we don't have a cat. What does a cat have to do with anything? I don't, I don't like know they cats. pull stuff. Oh. So yeah that's pretty much it. Oh wait what about the time when um What's his name again? I forget people's names. Forgot. Hi, Miff. Heard the footsteps. You forgot your own cousin's <laughs> names. Okay, I know, but I yeah, I guess when some of our family would come over, they would hear footsteps. Like, I don't, they would hear footsteps and hear things. Um, I remember one time one of our cousins went into our backyard and he was by himself and he, I guess, like heard footsteps behind him, but there was no one there. And yeah, so. Yeah, I yeah, our family was pretty scared to go over to our house. Yeah, especially like, our cousin. That house dress. in particular cuz it was terrifying. Yeah. Oh, and we also did some I remember back when we lived in that house, I did some like deep research on it to see who previously lived in there, and I'm not going to say the um the person's last name just to respect their privacy since they're still alive and they live around here. Um, but the people who first lived in the house had a last name that belonged to these people who used to practice a lot of, um, used to do a lot of spiritual practices and do a lot of summoning things. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Coincidentally, yeah. it, they just so happened to live in that house. That was creepy as heck. <laughs> So yes, this is for sure the end of the video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn off your post notifications. You just said turn off your post notifications. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. <laughs> and make sure to let us know in the comments if you would like to see more story time videos because we have many more stories to tell. Mm-hmm. Like Oh, oh, okay, but anyways, bye. <laughs> I'll be David Dobrik and bye.